In this tutorial, we'll look at how to play an, an M3U8 file video with HTML5 video element. Okay, so I just have a simple HTML boilerplate. It's currently empty. Now, if you want to use the video element, and let's actually use the source element in there. Let's say you have some kind of, um, you know, video that's mp4 file this will work out of the box without any issues or webm will also work however if you have um, the m3 u8 extension or hls it will not work out of the box right so if you want to use this you're going to need some kind of external library and a very popular one now is called video.js so video.js is actually two parts it's actually a custom video player and they show you this on the on the on their home page right? this just looks better than the default one that you get in the browser so you you may want to use this you know alone for the for the video player alone but these days it automatically also includes support for these types of files right so that's what we're going to use here we're going to include video jazz and we're going to set it up and i'll show you some examples of actually playing uh, files and even live streaming with um, this player okay so they show you how to get started i mean you can find all of this on their website but i'll quickly walk you through here so i'm going to use the cdn link so this is the css portion right css because this is a custom video player right you're going to need some styling for that so that's the css part here i'm going to include that here in the head and then let's see they also need there's, there's also a javascript portion right because for the video player for example if i click on this icon here right they need to hook into the click event and they need to start playing the video right so they need javascript for that and the javascript actually also includes support at least since version 7 it automatically includes support for uh, this type of file as well. So I'm just going to link to the script, to the, to the JavaScript in here in the head as well. Now, generally speaking, it's a best practice if you're going to do it in the head to use the defer attribute so that it doesn't block parsing the, the rest of the HTML. Right, so make sure you have mastered modern JavaScript. I have a course on JavaScript. It's a couple of hours. It will benefit you for the rest of your career. The link is in the description. Definitely check it out. And this is actually all you need to include, right? This will this is enough for the, both the video player as well as the support for this type of file. Right now we don't see anything, so let's see how we can actually uh, scaffold a, a simple example here. So for the source, I'm actually going to use an an, uh, an actual video, and there are some there are some example videos that some companies have made available. So I'm going to use an example from Dolby, right? That's the URL here. Right, you can see the extension is m3u8 and i'm also going to specify what type this is i'm going to say type and it's the application category and then x mpeg url and almost finished here so then in the video uh, opening tag i'm going to specify a couple of attributes so i'm going to give it an id of let's say my video I'm also going to give it a class. Maybe you want uh, some styling or uh, you want to hook into it differently. We want to see the controls. We're going to say preload is auto. And you can also just copy this from their example, by the way. So you don't have to write it from scratch. But um, this, uh, by doing it this way, um, we can go through the individual attributes a little bit. So let's see what else. So this won't work. The last thing that you actually need to include, there are basically two ways to initialize this. So if you just do it like this, video.js is not invoked yet, you could say. So you can do it two ways. You can do it um, in your JavaScript. So you can write some custom JavaScript to initialize it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can do it directly here in the, in the HTML by using data setup with the options, right? Right now, we're not gonna have any options, so we're just gonna leave this, this um, it's actually a JSON string is what it should be. We're gonna leave that empty, but we, you do need to include this if you do it that way, right? I'll show you the other way of doing it, but um, video.js needs to know the options basically. Right now, we don't have any options, but um, if we try this, right? So you can see we're playing a file now with this extension, M3U8, right? And this is a file that Dolby has made available. You can find under example links on the internet. But you can see it's pretty cool. It's working right now. And the video player looks much better than, you know, the, the default that you get out of the box, you know, in HTML with the HTML5 video element, right? You can see the captions, right? So um, you can set it to English. And actually by default, for some reason, it says playing and that's, that's the caption here. I don't know why. Um, but of course, you can configure that separately, right? But you get a very nice video video player out of the box and it has complete support for all of these formats that you probably want to use. Now Akamai also has an example link with live uh, streaming actually. So if I change this URL to another one, this will actually show an example of live streaming, which is pretty cool. So let's see So you can see it says live here now and let's see if that actually works. Okay. So you can see eventually this also works, right? So even live streaming, I think this looks really cool. 
Um, it's a bit slow on my computer, perhaps, um, because this is just an example. They probably don't have, um, they probably don't put this on a CDN or whatever, so it's going to be a bit slower, perhaps. Um, I'm also recording a video here, so it may be a bit slow. But um, this is probably what you want to do. Now, maybe you don't want to use this data setup. Um, and actually, let me just change it back to the previous file, not live streaming, so it's a bit faster. Okay, now maybe you don't want to use this data setup attribute. Right, so if I remove this, it actually won't work anymore, right? So now you need to initialize it in a different way. So you probably have your own custom uh, script, right? Let's actually do that. I'm going to say script source. I have a script file. And I'm also going to use defer here. And make sure it comes after the other one, right? So then um, the variables from this script are going to be available in here. And defer actually respects the order, right? So that's no problem here. So I'll quickly create a script here. Right, so make sure you have mastered modern JavaScript. It's um, really the most important skill that you can learn as a web developer or a software developer that has to work with the web. Right, so what you can do here is you can wait for the um, page to have completely loaded. Right, so DOM content loaded or you know window.onload. And then when the event occurs, we're going to fire this function, right? Modern arrow function. So what you could do here, uh, you can say video.js. This is the variable or function, right, that we're going to get from this script. And here it needs to know the ID of the video element, and that's my video. And then you can provide options, right? So all sorts of options available, but this would be an alternative way of initializing all of this. And so now if we refresh, it should work again. Right, so now it also works again, right? So you can go to the API docs, look around and uh, see all the options that are available, right? So they have all sorts of options for autoplay. Um, and actually those are the, tip the typical video uh, options. The video JS specific options are here. So aspect ratio, breakpoints, full screen, languages. You could even have plugins. Um, for example, if you want to use YouTube or like some Vimeo embed, you can actually use that here in video jazz as in using their web player. Actually, it doesn't have anything to do with this uh, file format, but you would use their video player. And yeah, you can look around, but um, this would be a very basic example. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.